at six foot three and nearly 300 pounds of solid muscle. Kentucky defensive end Josh Pascal strikes fear in the hearts of opposing teams. A warrior on the field. This future NFL star is known by his teammates and coaches as someone with the highest integrity. He's one of those players that you only get so many in your coaching career that it's not just that he's a really talented athlete, but that he's a incredible human being, an incredible young man. Josh's dreams of playing in the NFL began at the age of five. Even when I was little, I would go outside, uh, get the kids in the neighborhood, and we'd have a big game right in the middle of the field. I would act like I was an NFL player. i had my jersey on while we were outside playing, and when I would score, I would celebrate like the pros do. Though his parents raised him in a Christian home, Josh didn't commit to becoming a Christian. To me, it was just something that you do every Sunday. It didn't mean, it didn't have that deeper meaning to me. That all changed in 2018 during his sophomore season while attending an FCA event. He stayed afterwards and in his humble, quiet, confident self that he is, he asked, he said, uh, I would love to talk to you tonight about giving my life to Christ. I felt joyful. I saw what it looked like to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, not just um, pray to him when times get hard or anything like that, but have a full-on relationship with him to trust in him and to let him guide your life. Times got hard quickly for Josh. Just four months after his profession of faith, the team trainer suggested he get a spot on his foot checked out by a doctor. The biopsy revealed the spot was a malignant melanoma, cancer. Josh's response wasn't a concern for himself, but for his family and his teammates. Seeing how they reacted to it, I really wanted to stay strong in order to keep them strong as well, to know that, um, for them to know that I had it and that I was going to fight it and we were going to be okay. Kentucky head coach Mark Stoops says that Josh's commitment to follow Jesus just a few months before his diagnosis became his strength. That has a lot to do with his faith and in his relationship with Christ and, and uh, how far he's come. And he's just a very confident and very matter of fact person. And instead of questioning God's goodness, Josh trusted more fully in God. It was a time where I knew I had my faith. I knew who I was living for and why I'm here. And so I leaned on the Lord and I trusted in him. And no matter the outcome, um, I knew it was in his plan. And that's how I got through it. Still, the cancer required not one, but three surgeries. Josh's recovery was difficult. He even had to learn to walk again. His dedication to rehab and getting back on the field inspired his teammates and coaches. He was a sort of beacon of strength for our team. Whether he could be on the field or not, you know, in that time when he was struggling and he was diagnosed, he was, whenever he showed up, he had a smile on his face, he was encouraging his teammates, and everybody drew strength from that. Like a true warrior, just four months after surgery, Josh worked his way back onto the field and into the starting lineup, cancer-free. Let's talk about Josh Pascal for a moment, Ray. This is his first action of the year, and he is finally back. And then he's got that clean bill of health out here today. It's a great, uh, uplifting feeling for this Kentucky Wildcat football program. It just didn't look like it was possible, but, you know, through Christ, all things are possible, and I believe that. It means a whole lot more when you know what he's been through, and he's walking through his cancer and surviving, his perseverance, his attitudes toward life. He is a man that knows that he has been blessed by grace, and he just gives grace to others. I believe that he used me uh, during this time to use my platform also for uh, young men like me who haven't trusted in the Lord yet, and they're thinking about it, and they're on that edge, and they see this video, and they're like, wow, this is something I really want to um, I really want to learn more about Jesus is the king, the one true king, and he's loving, he's caring, and he's a father, and he's our heavenly father. He's always here, he's always in the room with you, and that's something I believe, that I will never be alone because I have the Lord, and he's everywhere um, around me, next to me, 
in everything that I do.